Cakes in the Sewing Room. Thanks for joining me today. Today's video is all about what I made during the month of July. I've got three different projects to show you. One is the dress that I'm wearing, which is basically a hack. I've attached two patterns together. So that is the Square Neck Top by Friday Pattern Company and also the Ella Skirt by Forget Me Not Patterns. I've also got um, a t-shirt that I've made out of this lovely pack here. It's the Three Tees t-shirt from My Handmade Wardrobe. So I'm gonna be chatting you through that one. And I've also made a free pattern, which is the Bucket Hat, Sandcastle Bucket Hat by Waves and Wild, which I'll just give you a little snippet of. <laughs> it's just here. So I will um, talk you through all of those projects if you keep watching. I hope you're having a lovely week wherever you are in the world and maybe you've fitted in some sewing. If you have, I'd love to know what you're working on. So do leave me a message down below. And when you're there, if you could leave me a like, that would be amazing um, because that encourages YouTube to share this video with other people who also like sewing. So let's get to it and I'll tell you all about my projects. I feel like I didn't do loads of sewing during the month of July and I think that's basically because it's nice weather, we're getting out with the family and um, you know, doing all those nice things. So um, sometimes I just don't really have the energy to sit down and sew in the evening, but I am trying to fit in um, you know, as much kind of crafting and fun sewing stuff as I can and when I can. Um, you'll know um, if you are a regular viewer that I put together a video last week, if you're interested in checking that out, which is my top tips to fitting sewing into a busy lifestyle. So obviously people have busy lifestyles for lots of different reasons. So if you're one of them, and I'm sure you probably are, then do check out my uh, last video if you haven't seen it already. And then you can see basically how I try and <laughs> fit in my um, sort of relaxing sewing time. So the first project that I'll chat you through today is actually the one that I'm wearing at the moment, um, which probably looks a little bit creased because I have been wearing it all day. <laughs> um, but I want to show it to you anyway. So I've, like I said, I've attached two different patterns. So they're two of my favorite patterns. Now, originally I was thinking about hacking the Friday Pattern Company sagebrush top into a dress and attaching that to a skirt. But in the interest of time, I thought that the one that I'd made um, would be a little bit simpler for me to do and therefore a little bit quicker. Um, I really wanted to enter the Instagram sewing challenge, which has been going on during the month of July, which is called hashtag sew mashup. And that was being run by Kath from Made by Kathcraft and also Sally from The Secret Life of the Seamstress. So thank you both um, to those ladies for organizing the uh, lovely sewing challenge. Um, I do love a challenge. I do like to try and um, push myself to get um, involved in different sort of sewing makes and things. And actually, I have wanted to hack the um, this square neck top <laughs> into a dress for ages since last year. So this is actually given me the opportunity to do that really. So what I've done is I've used a viscose fabric, um, which is got a gorgeous drape to it. And uh, this was in the um, so Hayley Jane subscription box that I got uh, recently. So I'm really pleased with it. It's a kind of paisley fabric. So if I come a little bit closer, you should be able to see. Um, it's got this kind of gorgeous pink background with the sort of greens and blues and all sorts in there. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. I wasn't sure how the fabric would kind of look on me, but I thought, do you know what? I'm gonna give it a go, see what happens. And I'm really pleased with how it's worked out. So I am gonna put in some footage of me wearing this as well, so you can see it kind of full length and styled in a few different ways. Um, but for now, I'll just kind of stand on the chair <laughs> um, so that you can actually see uh, what it looks like generally. Um, but basically we've got the top here. Um, so when I was cutting it out, I um, basically extended the uh, side lines of the bodice to be the same width as both the front skirt and the back skirt piece. Um, and that was basically to allow me to attach them together easily. And then I've created a, a elastic waist channel, threaded some elastic through to fit my waist size. And hey presto, both of the patterns have gone together. So let me just stand up here so you can see the elastic waist. So that's the elastic waist there. So I'm really pleased with that. It sits kind of on my natural waistline. Um, so I'm pleased with how that's worked out. And because the fabric's not too chunky, I think um, that's really nice. The skirt, um, it's got a nice amount of gather to it, I think, but not too much. Um, if I just stand up here, you should be able to see a little bit more. 
So it's got this gorgeous ruffle around the bottom, which is really nice. So as I said, this is the Ella skirt by Forget Me Not Patterns. Now you'll probably know that I am a massive fan of the Ella skirt. I've made it, this was actually the fourth time <laughs> that I've used the pattern and it just works perfectly in any kind of drapey type fabric. And I even made one in a lightweight denim that was you know, it wasn't a chambre, but it wasn't heavy either. But that ha one has a little bit more structure. But I'm really pleased with that one as well. So I would definitely recommend um, trying the Ella skirt if you haven't already. That one is a PDF download that you can get from the uh, Forget Me Not Patterns website. So in terms of sizing, I actually made the um, the woven top here um, in a size small, and uh, for the Friday Pattern Company, size small for the square neck top <laughs> and then for the Ella skirt I made the size 36 I think um so that kind of went um with my kind of measurements <laughs> according to uh, the pattern instructions so just so you get a bit of an idea of my sizing so I've got a 32 bust 28 waist and a 40 hip so just in case uh, you're interested, that's um, kind of where I'm at at the moment. Uh, but I'm really, really pleased with this dress overall. I think it's going to be perfect for summer. And um, I do tend to like things that are a little bit longer um, at this time of the year. So I'm really pleased with this one. I feel like I can happily wear it without tights and, you know, be uh, quite comfortable in it. I also think it's a great one that can be dressed up or dressed down, depending on, you know, what card you're going to wear it with, what shoes I wear it with. Um, I've even tried styling it with a hat that I got from the charity shop recently, um, which I got a real bargain, actually, because it was supposed to be from Jules. Um, but um, I managed to pick it up from the charity shop, so I'm really pleased with that. Um, it's a lovely kind of round brim, uh, big brim, sort of, you know, lovely sort of summery hat. So, um, but I think that looks quite nice with, with the dress as well, to be honest. So um, if you've had a go at doing anything as part of the Sew Mashup Challenge, I'd love to know what you made and how you found it. And if you've tried anything that perhaps I would like to have a go at. So yes, that's the first thing that I've made and um, I hope you like it. So the second thing that I'll share with you today is actually um, the free pattern, which is the Sandcastle Bucket Hat by Waves and Wild Patterns. So this is a, another one that I downloaded online and it's a, a lovely, lovely pattern. It's basically available in newborn baby size all the way through to extra large adult, uh, which I just think is fantastic and particularly for a free pattern. So I think this hat pattern can look completely different in you know different fabrics as a lot of patterns can do. But I decided to use three fat quarters basically to make my hat because I wasn't sure, you know, how um, it was going to look or, um, you know, how much fabric I'd really need. So I was just trying to use bits of fabric that I'd already got rather than, um, you know, perhaps buying something new. Um, I'm really pleased with it. Um, I think my husband doesn't like it very much. He says that, you know, it makes me look a bit silly, <laughs> but um, I'll put it on and see what you think. Um, I think if I was to make it again, I'd probably make it in one colourway fabric, so perhaps um, a gingham or um, something that was a bit stylish, I'm not sure really. Um, but this, um, you know, really is a cotton poplin hat and I'm just really pleased with it. It just means that I can shove it in my bag, I can grab it out when I'm out and about with my toddler and, you know, just have something to cover me up a little bit. I am quite fair and I do tend to burn quite easily. So um, having a hat that I can just pull out of my bag is actually really helpful. So I'll just pop it on so you can see. Um, so it's quite a floppy hat. Um, but yeah, so I've got, <laughs> I don't know, you might think that I look a little bit silly as well. But you can see that I've got the yellow um, at the top, the kind of mustardy colour, uh, which kind of goes all around the brim. It's quite a nice wide brim. And then on the inside of the hat, I've got some different um, fat quarter colours as well. So uh, yes, that's what it generally looks like. Um, that's the inside of the hat, so it's fully lined. Um, basically just repeat the pattern pieces for the outside and the inside, so it all goes together quite nicely. Um, I made this in just a couple of evenings of sewing, so um, probably an hour and a half, couple of hours, and I've got it done, something like that. So um, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, yes, yeah, so I've used the same fat quarter there as I have round the brim, um, and then obviously we've got a different one there. 
and similarly on the inside we've got three different colours so yes I'm really, really pleased with that I, I made it in a size extra large adult because I wanted there to be plenty of room for when I've got my hair up and I can just kind of fit everything inside um, so I recommend uh, giving that one a go if you haven't tried it already and if you wanted to you could make one for all the family why not give it a go <laughs> so the next thing that I wanted to share with you today is actually oh you can probably just hear my Labrador going like this with his ears. <laughs> um, the next thing that I want to share with you today is the My Handmade Wardrobe Three Tees pattern. So I don't know if you've uh, made this one before, but there's three um, lovely options of things that you can actually make. So you've got a tie front version, uh, which is kind of a, a more cropped one, which is the one I've done. You've got this kind of um, kind of knot type version on the front, or you can make a straightforward t-shirt. So um, there's a, quite a few different options in there. Um, I've actually got the printed copy, but I believe it's also available as a PDF. Um, I made mine in an extra small, so that's a bust measurement of 82 centimetres and a hip measurement of 90 centimetres. Um, but it also goes, uh, you can make small, medium, large, extra large or XXL. Um, so you've got a few different options in there. Now I've found you have got quite a lot of ease in the pattern. So even though um, my, um, certainly my hip measurement is bigger than the one that it's actually showing in the pattern pack, because of the way that the um, tie front top is, is cut and um, I guess because it's got the tie and stuff and it finishes above my hip, then I actually was fine making the smaller size. Um, so that's worked out okay. So I've used, um, oops, it's fallen off the coat hanger. I've, <laughs> I've used a cotton jersey um, to make my top here. And I got this from Once Upon a Fabric. So as you can see, it's got these lovely um, summery um, ice lollies on there, which is quite cute. So as soon as I saw this fabric, I was like, yes, I've got to have that one. Um, and I've actually managed to get this t-shirt out of just one meter of fabric uh, with a bit of creative cutting. Um, so I'm pleased that that's worked out okay. So it's got some really nice features. Um, I've decided to go for this um, V neckline. So I'll be honest with you, I made a mistake in doing the, the V neckline. So it's actually supposed to have a slightly deeper um, neck band around the V, but I managed to get a little tuck at the front and then I tried to correct it and oh, all sorts of faffing, but I managed to get it sorted in the end. Um, but it's nothing to do with the pattern or anything, I think it was just purely my mistake. Um, but generally, I think um, the instructions are really good and um, it holds your hand kind of step by step of actually what you need to do. Um, so that's really good. It's the first time I've ever done a V front on a t shirt. Um, but I think generally I'm quite pleased with how it ha how it kind of worked out, apart from it taking me that little bit of extra time. Um, you can finish off the, the sleeves here uh, with a cuff. It's actually got grown on sleeves, so you don't have to insert a sleeve or anything there. Um, and as I said, I made the tie front version, so you've got the tie just there. Um, I'm just going to open the tie so you can see what it looks like without that actually being done up. You can see it hangs um, quite low there. So um, I would say that with the other tie front t-shirts that I've made, um, or other tie front tops in general and um, they have been much higher on the waist they've been more of a kind of cropped style whereas this one just kind of sit around you know your kind of trousers top of your trousers top of your skirt type thing so it does come that little bit longer which I think is quite nice really uh, because I'm not worrying about you know my uh, tummy or my back being on display or um, I'm quite a cold person so I really like the kind of the, the draft getting into what I'm wearing so um but yeah I think um I'm really pleased with this overall as I said I am going to put in a little bit of footage of me wearing this so you can see what it looks like with the skirt as well um I think generally I would wear this with the skirt but you could wear it with jeans or you know whatever you want really um but I think there's lots of different variations in this pattern that you could make in different fabrics and as always you know they could look completely different so um but yeah i'm really pleased that i've had a go at trying this i've made a few of the handmade wardrobe things before um and i'm always in, impressed and pleased with the uh, pattern instructions um and you know the different kind of styles that they've got so do check out the my handmade wardrobe website if you haven't already um, and have a look at a few of the things that they've got on there. But that's all that I um, wanted to share with you today. So I hope you've enjoyed um, seeing uh, my latest makes. Um, I'd love to know what you've been up to. So as I said earlier in the video, if you did want to leave me any comments below, um, that would be amazing. And I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. Always enjoy having a chat with, to you down there. 
but um, I've got lots of new content coming up on my channel soon. I do post videos every week, so if you are new to my channel, subscribe if you haven't already, that would be amazing. And um, you know, if you press that notification bell, you will um, get a notification um, every time I um, put on a new vlog and then you won't miss out. But until next time, I'm gonna leave it there. Have a lovely rest of the week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.